Hey, how's it going? Over here! Not coming? Not really my jam, picnics. But you have fun. Spinning a new song, anyway. Rather focus on that. Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat? Um, soy meat? Okay. Dunno. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. I just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. How's, uh, Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And, uh, mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Honestly, I thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Where the Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... How? Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? Um, where will I find the rice? I'll call you back later. Really nice of you to come. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. It was all River. I just helped. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy God, had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. <laughs> I'm so quick to break down. Anyway, the rice is right there. Basmati, nice. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio.
Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. You flatline him? I wasn't sure that was what I really wanted. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How my parents died. Now, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. Mostly, I remember my mom crying. When my dad swore they'd found all we had. One was gassed out of his mind. He fired first. Blew half my dad's skull off. Jesus, River. I'm sorry. He was erratic. Went rabid. Handed me his gun and ordered me to aim it at my mom's head. I can still see her tear-filled eyes at the end of that barrel to this day. What did you do? Nothing. I stood frozen. Finally, he just snatched the gun back. Shot my mother and they left. Police never caught him. That was why I joined the force. I couldn't agree with scum like that roaming free. No one to hunt him. Was just there too? Saw all this? Mm hmm. I think when she looks at me, she still sees that boy holding a gun to her ma's head. Can't tell you how sorry I am. So when I stood over Harris in that hospital bed, barrel to his brow, I was that kid again. But I was also the junkie who shot my parents. I understand. I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, see. you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. think always wanted to try a game like this well well nice firepower there this is no time to get distracted we can't let that filth get away who oh well look at you v allow me to introduce captain joan mclean and lieutenant henry callahan they're our precinct's best and brightest wouldn't want to get in their way i always work alone no exceptions. Even for you. Yeah! Me too! 
Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. AV, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. <gasps> Watch out! It's Cruise! Next round! Next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! <laughs> Too slow! Too many donuts! He's in! He's Not in. done yet! Ah! Behind us! Is that all you got? Nuh-uh! Watch this! Okay, that's all of them. But next time we gotta be faster. Lunch is ready. Mm, but mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting him win. They had fun. Ah, <laughs> they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you too. Hey, food's on the table.
So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Speaking of, be great if Randy was here. Won't be long. Randy loves Jambalaya. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself! <laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um... Well, that's decided. <laughs> Got an 11.99. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way I... Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gotta fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah, okay. Good. Ugh. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. City between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Out here, you can't smell the shit the corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit, flush, repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you. <laughs> Your piece? Had her a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. To know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. 
Josh's husband did it, drunk, in this very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong is sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. To friendship. To friendship. You got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. in the moon and there's still no cure for hangovers well at least we had fun yesterday yeah um, but now i gotta roll promised joss i'd take her to see randy no rush either get your sea legs back take as much time as you need you sure you're good to drive <laughs> please former ncpd <clears throat> i'm a pro on hangover highway i'll be fine Apologize to Joss for me. We kind of dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Aw, oh, shit. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? I know how it sounds, but this one time, please. <laughs> 